pick it up right there. What do shareholders think about all of this? We bring in Melissa Armo of StockSwoosh.com, and she joins us right now. Melissa, what do you think shareholders of Tesla are saying? Well, I'm sure they're used to Elon Musk's antics, so I'm sure no one is surprised. The fact that they would think that he would never tweet again anything like this, it would be more surprising. I would say that if you're in Tesla long, the stock switch tip of the day is if you're in Tesla long, you got to be in it for the long haul because you're going to see a whipsaw like this. It's been going on for about two years. The stock has been trading between 240 and 380, which is up at the previous highs, for a good solid two years. It can't seem to break out of that range and it hasn't fallen under that range. Melissa, it did in August when we got that other controversial tweet, the taking Tesla private one for $420, that's when the stock was in the high threes. But in the immediate aftermath of that, we saw Tesla lose about, what, $20 billion in market cap. It's down 3.3% right now at 288 and change in the pre-market. Elon Musk is losing his investors' money. Listen, Elon Musk isn't going to go down without a fight. He's going to, if he's going down, he's going down swinging. I can tell you that because he doesn't want to give up his position. When you think of Tesla, you think of Elon Musk. So yeah. I think he's going to hang on. He'll pay the fine, whatever it is. Are they going to keep him under, under control? I don't know. Probably not. I think the 60-minute interview was damning. I think that's the problem, really, as your previous guests had mentioned. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you that it's still in an uptrend. Tesla's still in an uptrend. And if you look at how the yeah. market sold off in December, Tesla looked better than the market in the month of December. Are you concerned about um, his disregard for regulators in the SEC? He's voiced his opinion on that, clearly. I mean, he said that in the 60 Minutes interview as well. <laughs> yep. He doesn't think too much of the SEC. It, again, it's all about what the judge is going to say. The judge does have discretion in this period. And if it happens again, again, it'll be whatever that judge happens to be. So SEC or no SEC, he doesn't seem to want to abide by their rules particularly. They're going to go back to say, well, we said this in the earnings call. That's what Tesla's argument is going to be. Got it. Melissa Armo, thank you for joining us this morning. And Thanks. you like Tesla and you think it's an up stock, we'll take it.